Terrifier is a low-budget slasher movie that came out in 2016, written, co-produced and directed by Damon Leone. Not a lot of people saw it in 2016 until Dead Central released it more widely in 2018, and after that it quickly gained some fame and some cult following, including some attention for the more casual movie goers. Top 10 secret horror movies that you probably haven't seen. Top 10 scariest Art the Clown moments. Pennywise vs Art the Clown. Some people really seem to love it and others just think it's the worst thing ever. But why? Is the movie good? Is it bad? Do I am dead inside? Well, let's find out on this new episode of uh, I still don't have a name for this show. According to Letterbox, the story of the movie is a maniacal clown named Art terrorizes three young women and everyone else that stands in his way in his Halloween night. By this description, you can tell this is not a really complex movie. It's a very, very basic and very predictable slasher that doesn't really try something creative or original with the story and with some really awful dialogue. That was the longest piss I've ever taken. We also have the characters that are not really characters the director and writer doesn't really seem to bother writing something interesting for these actors. I guess classic movies like Halloween, Texas Chainsaw Massacre or Suspiria also lack character development, but the acting, the music and the directing are enough to compensate for that problem, and that is what makes them classics they are today. And unfortunately, Terrifier doesn't really have any of those things, having bad acting, forgettable music and bland cinematography. <sighs> Not everything is bad, there are also some good things. First of all, the gore. First of all, the gore. The gore of this movie is so great that I can even show it on YouTube. It really is something next level. And it's what surprised and shocked most people on the first watch. Especially the scene where the Art the Clown kills the blonde girl by cutting her in half with a saw in a really, really explicit scene. Definitely not for people with weak stomachs. I also said the acting was bad and Technically that is true, but the Art the Clown actor David Howard Thornton absolutely kills it in, in this world. Get it? Uh, he, he kills it? Because he's a... It, it, it's a slasher? Uh, no, okay, sorry. And that's what makes this movie so scary and intense. Is the excellent and creepy performance that makes it terrifying. Get it? The, the movie's called Terrifier, huh? Huh? No? Oh, okay, uh, I'll stop. And finally, the simple story. Or should I say, the lack of story. The lack of story can be a negative, but also can be a positive. Because the movie's trying to be a silly, fun slasher. It's not trying to be a great piece of filmmaking. And in this case, the lack of story helps the viewer by wasting no time with things that don't really matter for fans of this subgenre, using its self-awareness for a positive. This is not a movie about a people trying to run from Art the Clown, this is a movie about Art the Clown killing and scaring people for 84 minutes, because it's a fan's thing only. Some people will enjoy it by its simplicity, but others will just think it's bad filmmaking. And it kind of it is, but it's also enjoyable. In conclusion, the movie is not good. Thank you for watching.
I'm joking, but the movie is not good, but also is not trying to be. It's completely self-aware how stupid and basic it is. Because it's not trying to be a good movie, it's just trying to be a silly slasher movie. A fun 84 minutes with tons of gore and scares that actually work. Personally, I don't think it's great, but it's definitely a lot of fun for fans of this type of movies. And honestly, I think the director accomplished what he's trying to accomplish. But let's see if the director and writer can improve in his sequel, Terrifier 2, that is going to come out in 2021. And he already promised to make it bigger than the original in terms of gore and scares. And that's really what the fans want for a Terrifier sequel and the slasher in general. So my final rating for this movie is a 6 out of 10. Maybe a 7 on rewatch, but for now it's a 6. Thank you for watching and I hope I see you next time.